Hello YouTube, this is Keeves, and today we are finding Flux. Flux is one of those things in uh, Life is Feudal that is a big bitch. You need it for almost anything. Um, mostly you need Flux to make steel. And steel you need to make lots of stuff. You need to make armor, you need to make locks. It's just, it's it's kind of like the bottleneck in, in Life is Feudal right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to do that. I'm going to teach you the most efficient way that I have found so far. So, a couple skills you need. Nature's lore. You need gathering, right? And you need herbalism up to 60. So, nature's lore and gathering, you need at least 60. You know, the higher the better, obviously. Uh, nature's lore, at least 60, because then you can create naphtha, flavor, and flux. And that's the big one. All right, set to defaults on your right click. You want to have uh, search for herbs on there. And then once you've done your search for herbs, then you have the um, the default for gathering herbs. Uh, you need to have a sickle on your character. Right now I just have a primitive sickle, easy enough to do, right? You find these little white things, um, or these guys. Oh, turn your grass distance down. It makes it so much easier. You go to video controls, controls, grass rendering distance, drop it all the way down to the bottom, right? So much easier. And if you notice though, my frames per second is shit. I don't know why. I don't have a bad computer, but I drop all the graphics, my frames per second is complete garbage. I don't really know why. Anyways, so go up to the uh, to the little herbs, these little white things there. Schmack them, right, with your sickle. Like so. If you succeed, you'll get an herb. There you go. Very simple. Once you've gathered some herbs, like I have, all these little bastards right here, make sure you got a mortar and pestle in your inventory. A mortar and pestle is crafted by another means. Anyways, I'm not going to go there. Either way, get a mortar and pestle in your inventory. Double click the mortar and pestle and this comes up. Right? You spend some time with the herbs to find out their their effects. So when you start out, it'll just say unknown effects. Right? Like so. And when you craft two with unknown effects, you know, it might come up with a result, but for the most part, it'll do nothing. So, when it comes to your first intake of, of finding flux, you need to spend a good amount of time just at the beginning. Um, what you need to do is find the ones that give flux, like this one right here. You'll see gives flux. So I'm going to put it over the side like so. Right? This one as well gives flux. So when you find the ones that give flux, something that gives flux, um, I'm going to use this one for example. Then you just start crafting all the other ones that you can find, right? That has an unknown effect and that doesn't affect any of its other attributes. This one still has, there we go, found a flux right there, right? This one's um, one of my Philia Prati has an unknown effect, so there's a chance you're gonna get one, but the more that you mix this with other herbs, the more you will find um, flux. When you find one like this, that you already found all the the attributes you know this one has antidote raise con damage stamina put it aside like so put it somewhere else you're never gonna look at that one again on at least on this character now I'm not gonna talk about any of the other stuff that you could get you know this is just about flux so here we go now we found out that last attribute on um, the, the flux uh, herb and the nice thing about that is now we know um, that is an herb that we can find out 
where all the other flux uh, herbs are because you always know um, if it's going to produce one of the other attributes than flux. So, yeah. And there you go. You just keep going through all your flux herbs, trying to find ones that also produce flux. And the more flux herbs that you find, the better chance you are to find um, the flux in the future. And it just takes some time. And then once you start get, figuring out, oh, I'm canceling that one because you notice on the right side you says sta damage eight stamina. I don't want that. I want flux. <coughs> so there we go. We found the last unknown effect on that flux one. So now that's good. You know, we have all three there, and it gives you a better chance to be able to find. Um, if there's, you know, uh, what you can mix it with, great, All right? Takes a little bit of time, but once you find out what gives flux, oh, what gives flux and what doesn't, you'll find that it, it, it streamlines the process and moves it a lot faster. Now, here's the thing about herbology, um, and herbalism, that's really neat, and I thought, I think that's fantastic part of life is futile is that the herbs that this character sees the effects that are pr produced by these herbs are different on this character than it would be for a different character so when you have a bunch of herbs that you know give a bunch of um, other effects that you don't want right restore H dam antidote lower max dam I don't care about those right food flavor, race, strength, lower max, uh, HP, right? Eh, I don't really care about those. The nice thing is, if you got on a populated server with a bunch of other people, start trading or make an alt and give all these ones to your alt and hopefully he can find a flax uh, herb out of these because the effects that you're going to get is completely different to the effects that you're going to get. So it gives you this, this um, a wonderful concept of being able to really work with other herbal or, or herbalists to be able to trade um, herbs because one herb that's completely useless to him might give you flux, right? And one herb that's completely useless to you might give him flux. So there's easy trade off back and forth. But yeah, the more that you find these effects on your Oh, there's a flux one right there, right? So we're going to put the flux one up here. And I'm just going to go through it. Try and find other ones that will also give us flux. There we go. There's another one, right? And the more flux ones that you find, the faster you're going to find yourself getting flux. So it'll just move quicker and quicker and quicker. But, uh, oh, here's one where I see all these right up here. I can move it back up there so I don't have to use it again. This one gives flux as well. Let's see if we find some more. So, yeah, that's all. Uh, that's probably the best um, advice I can give anyone to try and find flux right now. It's going to take some time, it's not a quick process, you know, just to get me to my. Uh, where I am right now is probably two hours or three hours of just straight up, you know, finding herbs and and mixing the ingredients. But uh, yeah, it'll streamline as you start learning all the different effects. But uh, that's all I'm going to talk about today. So thank you for watching. If you like the videos, please subscribe. Um, you know like the video comment if you want some me to do something else thank you everybody and have a wonderful day bye bye